Welcome, everyone. Join the buzz, plug in, and listen. Turn up that volume and tune in for the inside scoop on the Listen Up, Listen In podcast with your host, Preezy, live on Podbean. Download the app and join the conversation. Weekdays from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Let's get it. Welcome, everyone, to Listen Up, Listen In podcast. It's time to wake up and get your day started off right with Preezy Live on Podbean. Catch the wave whether you're still at home or on the go. And enjoy the show. It's going to be, aha, yeah, this is my song, baby, yeah, baby, this is my song, oh, yeah, y'all better start believing, baby, go ahead, Patty, I'll be your smile, I'm going to feel it with laughter, baby. We gotta believe. Y'all better stop, start believing. Believe in God first, baby, because without Him, we are nothing. Yeah, hit it. Come on, Patty. One more time for me, baby. It's my man, Grover. Grover Washington. Good morning, y'all. Wake up. Wake up. It's Tuesday. August 29th, let's make it right, start off with a little bit of patty, what up geek, mm. I'm feeling good this morning, Woo. yeah, Good blast them on it. Let me just hear this little bit. Come on now. What? I can see what you see. I see it, Patty. I see it. Yes. 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 I wish my mommy and daddy was here to share with me, but they here. They here. They here. I feel it. Yes. Thank you, God. Yeah, baby. As long as we believe. Ah. Ow! Sometimes you gotta let things go. You gotta let it go for you to see it, baby. Yeah. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep your prayers up. Believe that. Believe it. Believe it. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. I 
could do that. I could do it, but I just don't want to show off. You know? Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give you the sun. I'll show you my smile. I'll give you Skittles and Snickers and Reese's Pieces and everything you need, Patty. Yeah, I got a little bit of money too. Tell me, tell me what you want. You know I love you. I love me some Patty LaBelle. Oh my God, I love this woman. Gotta, gotta, I got to, I got to, 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 got to,
You go to these hotels, it's a new thing now. They have cameras everywhere. That's what they're claiming. There's cameras everywhere in hotels, certain hotels. There could be cameras everywhere to the size of a screw. And I have the equipment. Someone bought this machine for me where you can go inside any room or Airbnb, Air, Air, what am I saying? Airbnb. Am I saying it right? Airbnb. Something with a B. <laughs> Something with air and, and a B. I always get it confused. But anyway, you can use it. <laughs> be quiet, giggles, because it's still early in the morning. Um, and you can walk around the room with this machine and it will tell you if there are cameras there isn't this crazy so that's that means i cannot walk bugging naked around the room without doing this test first to make sure there's no cameras this is so crazy and this is the world we live in so don't it's crazy but i don't don't be surprised don't be like oh my gosh oh my goodness oh me what what is happening oh my god because this is the world we in 2023 Thank you, Big. Thank you, Gig. I said thank you, Big. Uh, thank you, Gig. Appreciate you. You're just pure sunshine. Always coming my way. Airbnb. Airbnb. The word air. The letter B. The letter N. The letter B. Thank you, Gig. Sesame Street is back, y'all. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Air. B. And B. That's what it means to me. Oh, don't, 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 don't. All right, that's it. Listen, this is real serious. So I'm going to see if I can find this clip. Uh, when they discuss, and, and it's a lot of noise in this video, so I don't even think I can play it, but maybe I should just read it because I don't understand why people post videos and um, they have so much noise in the background. Like, how are we supposed to hear this stuff? If you play and just jang, but the jang, but the jizz, jang, jang, but jibbs, but the Let me see. Um, do I have it? Do I have it? Let's go and see. And I want to talk about the scam that people be calling y'all all the time. Um, be careful, don't answer them because their thing is to catch a voice. So I know I had this. Where did I put it? Come on now. Come on now. Maybe it came from TikTok. Let's see. It came from TikTok. Let me play it. That ain't it. That ain't it. Um, hmm. Gig, did you get any information on... Hey, what's up, mister? Good morning. Gig, did you get any information on the trafficking? I know that I had it. And I sent it to myself. You know what? I got it because I know where it's at. Because I sent it to so many people. And it came off of Facebook. And I made sure that I sent it to people. Especially people who had children. Because you're not going to believe. I really heard. I really hope that. And I'm glad everybody clicked on and they saw it. Yeah, see. I'm glad. This is important. I really hope you guys can hear this because it's crazy question are y'all going to continue staying at these hotels take a look so all these hotels so like why everybody was paying attention to the submarine and everything else that's going on in the news yeah all every hotel that you go to when you go out of town all the big name a-list ones they all get sued right now for trafficking kids People finding floorboards with holes cut into tunnels, finding kids. Oh, my the God. Somebody found out somebody was at the Hilton. I think they was, I don't know what actual state, but they was at the Hilton. So they was wondering, like, she was trying to hang her coat up. Her coat fell. But when it fell, it was like a little wire hooked on her coat. So she was like, what the fuck? Come to find out it's a camera. So now she got to search in the room. They got a little app you can use on your phone to detect if it's cameras and all kind of shit. So she mm-hmm. did that and found, like, two more. One in a little screw. She got to move the furniture. One of the floorboards had like one of the pieces like cut out different from the shape of the whole design of the floor. She pulled it up. Her, her dude like, look, he put the camera down there and it's like a whole little walkway you can jump down, walk through to air connect to every room. So he jumped down, he walked all the way through it and ended up finding some kids. Did some people get arrested for that right there? 
the people at the oh, hotel, yeah. yeah, they got arrested for it. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, so they, they start going to all the hotels throughout the whole United States and start finding that they involved in they be involved basically in like housing the sex trafficking shit. So when the people come with your kids, your kids in the midst, like trying to find them, they didn't already got them. So it's like this shit crazy. That's wild shit. That's I'm like, good that the kids is not deceased though. Okay, okay, because he it makes no sense why they got music playing on the background of a story that's so important. Good morning, Sam. I am. Good morning, Elijah. All right, this is some real stuff, y'all. So what they're saying, if you didn't really hear, is a lot of hotels and they are doing trafficking, sex trafficking, kids trafficking, whatever trafficking that's wrong, they're doing it. So the lady went into the hotel. She went into the closet. She hung her coat up. There was a wire. Like, she's like, where is this? What is this? When she pulled it, she realized it was a camera. So then they looked down on the floor. They could tell that the floor wasn't right. They lifted up the floor. There was a tunnel. Tunnel led them to a bunch of kids. So the tunnel was connected to some of the rooms in the hotel. So this is what they're doing. So they're, they named all the hotels. And it's big hotels. It's not... It's hotels that we know. He named them all. And um, what they're saying is now, a lot of people are saying, do not, when you find this, do not tell the front desk because they believe that the hotels are connected with this, with this situation. They could be connected. So you could be just, you know, you're, you're giving up information. It's best to just call the police. And so what they're doing is they got the cameras. They're stating that they got the cameras set up. And they're watching the room. So if they see kids, that's their, they know that kids are in the room. They're taking them. For somehow they're taking the kids. They could be taking adults. But this particular story, they found kids. They were snatching kids. So please go to Amazon. They're, they're saying go, on, go to Amazon and get the little machine. Someone just bought it for me because I always I travel. And um, I'm in hotels. So the, some of the cameras can be as small as a screw. So I, how would I know? You know, they, they, they can have them in the um, light switches, the, the sockets. That's, the, that's a screw. They can have them even in the, the radios. You know, they have the little radios on the desk for you. You know, in, in your room, they can have them. Um, and he also mentioned something. Um, cameras can actually be connected in the conditioner and soap bottles. And isn't that crazy? Like, they, they're not they are not real. They may look like the soap bottles or whatever, but there's some type of, listen, I study private investigations, and I know that there are cameras like that. I know they exist. So now when you come in your room, you have to really scope your room out i mean check the floors make sure this is really crazy what's going on but this is real so you really have to do an investigation in your room um check i don't know get the machine check underneath the beds now they have you know they have the beds now they have the boys that go around most hotels don't have the beds open out open anymore that's because many many years ago bodies were found underneath the bed do your homework it's true and um, so now they board up, they board the bed around, you know, underneath. So if you happen to go into a hotel and you do see the bed that's uh, that's open, check it, you know, because you don't know who's underneath that bed. You don't know. Um, so now you got to do a thorough search now. Um, oh, gig, you put it up. Thanks, gig. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. 
Here's the link for the hotel video. Guys, please check it out. That's why I love you, gig. Please check that video out. I really believe there's truth to this 100%. Good morning, Papa Sam. Papa Sam. Papa Sam, number one. Good morning. There's definitely some truth to this. I'm telling you guys, just order it. it it's not expensive. Order it. It's like, a, I'm still trying to learn how to do it because I don't. I should have took it to, took it with me with this trip. But it's a machine and it kind of, the, it's a meter on it and it'll go up and, you know, up, down, whatever, letting you know there's something in the room that should be in the room. So it's crazy now because when you're in the hotel room, you know, you let lose, you butt naked, you're walking around, it's hot, it's cold. I know I'll be going through it. Hot, cold, your butt, you comfortable. You close your shades, you know, you chilling, whatever, and whoever you have with you or whatever, you know, you don't want nobody watching that. And next, you know, you watching TV and you looking at YouTube and you, that, that, look, wait a minute, I have a, a mole a certain spot it that that looked like it that i know that ain't my ass on no youtube oh hell I'm, 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 I'm being funny but it's true you don't know people are watching you and it's crazy even the fire alarms check those the little fire alarms that they have in there and you see that thing blinking all the time go open it up and check it check it because it could be a camera. This is how people are living today. They foul. They freaks. They crazy. They doing nutty things. It is, and, and the trafficking is serious, guys. Especially if you got kids. And let's just say, for instance, the kids are in the room. And, 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 I, and, I, and I sent this message to all my family members, too, that have children. Say you in the shower, Right? This this particular story, the lady, they had a hole in their floor, but it was covered. You in the shower, your kid is on the bed watching TV. There's nobody else in the room. And next thing you know, you come out, your child is gone. This is, this is really scary. So what now? I got to have my son or daughter sit in the bathroom with me while I'm in the shower? Because we're in a hotel and we don't know what's going on. This is really crazy. But take it Take it, listen, take this serious because it is. This is serious. I really believe in this is happening. It is too much that I'm hearing about cameras being in hotels. Now, we already know that I did a, a story before that um, people trying to get into your room. You got to put that latch across. If you got that latch, put it across. Make sure you lock your door. Stop thinking as soon as you go in your hotel room, the door locks automatically. Do not know. Mm -mm. Now they're sticking wires up through your door, very long wires, and they're clicking the latch. Somebody gonna get killed. That's on the real. Because, listen, you got to be careful. You please, you have to be careful. You have to be careful because it is happening. It is happening all over, and if you think it won't happen to you, it will. What do I say all the time? If y'all pay attention to me, I say all the time, watch your surroundings because your surroundings is always watching you. Somebody is always seeing you do something. I don't care where you're at. Somebody sees you unless you just got them. Camouflage like that movie. What was that movie? The, 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 the man, he was... He was uh, invisible invisible man ain't doing some crazy stuff to his girlfriend that was a good movie guys check that out i'm serious invisible man it was the bomb it's got to be a part two it's got to be a patch but i'm telling you guys it is it is no nah, no gig it was it wasn't hollow man it was the visible man it came out a couple about two years ago i saw it in the movie theater and now it's on um it's on uh it should be on the movie channel remember he was killing he was he was really rich he was rich and the girlfriend escaped from him. And he just haunted her down. And he, yeah, he, yeah, gig. And he even made it seem like she killed her own sister. He had that super suit. Like, he was so smart. And he had the suit. And you couldn't see him, but she figured it out. And then she might become the invisible woman. Because at the end, she had the suit. 
And the police officer knew she had to shoot, but he ain't say nothing because she was happy that that man was dead. That man caused a lot of problems because he don't beat up his daughter and everything. Y'all have got to see that movie. But back to the story because Gig done went, turned the left, went to the right. Yeah, he was not, he was, but don't most people that's smart is, I'm not trying to say nothing, but most geniuses, most geniuses are <laughs> crazy. I ain't gonna lie. People that be like super duper, but the looper smart. Yo, they got a little something going on in the brain. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. Take it serious, guys. I played the story. Listen, ladies, gentlemen, because don't think it's just happening to the ladies. And don't think it's happening to the, just the gentlemen and your kids. When y'all walk into these hotels, oh, oh, Disney World, oh, we end up in the Hilton. Oh, we got five star. We got 5.32 star. It don't matter. Whatever hotel you go to, please invest in that little thing they got. It's on Amazon. It's not expensive. Walk around your room for the safety of you, your significant other, and your kids. Because it's not funny. They snatching up these kids. They snatching up these adults for this trafficking. It's big money behind this. It's millions and millions of dollars behind this. And your damn body parts. People need parts. Y'all keep playing around. It's real out here. I'm telling you, they taking your organs because they need it. They know it's on high demand. They got to wait till people die to get organs. And then they got to make sure that the person is healthy before they can take their organs. So guess what? They taking anybody now and they'll test it later. I'm telling you, you've got to be careful. Stop taking shorts. Stop cutting the grass with equipment that you know don't work. I'm just making an example, but I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all it's real out here. Stop thinking that it won't happen to you, okay? Stop letting your kids go outside by themselves taking out the garbage because you'll see the garbage you, but you won't see the child. People are driving around in people neighborhoods looking for kids. I am always on the internet, always reading and listening and looking at stories. It's real. Stop taking chances, even with your damn dog. Walk your dog on the leash. You got people out here stealing people's dogs. It ain't right. I'm serious. The world is mad. Stop thinking because you're in a quiet neighborhood that everything is fine. Guess what? It's not because people, bad people come into your neighborhood. They walk in your neighborhood. They drive in your neighborhood. It doesn't even matter. Keep your eyes open because we are living in a world that people are nuts. I'm telling you. Gig put up the story. on. It's on TikTok. When you go into these hotels, check your rooms out. Don't just check if your your pillows is fluffy or fluffy, whatever you want to call it. Don't just check if you got extra sheets or towels. You got to do an investigation to make sure there ain't no damn cameras watching your wife while she butt naked or trying to swing on the fan. I don't know what you got in your room, but nobody wants to wake up the next morning seeing yourself on the damn video, knowing that you they ain't the, got the body that you really wanted. And I'm just making a joke, but it's real. Could you imagine turning on or somebody calling you, hey, yo, just on you on point at 063. What you doing on there? You ain't telling me you was going, I ain't do no porno. Next thing you know, somebody got a video of you on the damn porno station. It's real. People are nuts. But what scares me is the children. They got, they making tunnels. Are you serious? They stealing your kids and you right there. Could you imagine kids being stolen? Never to see them again. This was just, thank God these people were able to find these kids. But the, you know, the parents was looking for them. They in the damn hotel still in the ground. This is not funny. It's never funny when it comes to trafficking. It is serious. Ladies, pay attention. When you're hanging out 
and you're in a group. We together. This is a contract. You go to the bathroom, we all going to the bathroom. You go to the right, I'm going to the right. You move to the left, I'm moving to the left. This is how it's supposed to be. We ain't going off with nobody we don't know. Oh, that's my friend. I knew him. I'm going to take a ride. Well, you he must be taking all of us in his damn car. Because ain't nobody leaving nobody. Y'all got to learn the codes. The codes. The girl codes and the bro codes. That goes for the fellas, too. You can't trust women, either. You think women are not down with the trafficking, too? They can't pay big dollars to lure you somewhere that you don't belong, rob your ass, and next thing you know, your family find you, your whole guts are open, ripped up. They done took your kidneys and your heart and anything else they could take. Oh, so you think women can't do it, too? They just as bad. Trust me. I have worked with them. Understand this. It's real out here. Stop being stupid. Yes, I'm saying stupid because people are tricking people for the. I'm telling you, you 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 put your you put your drinks down. You walk away. I've seen it. I've I'm looking. I'm I've seen it. I'm sitting here at my table. Where are they going? And then come back to the drink. I could have put something in there. Now you wibbling, wobbling, wobbling, wibbling, fall out. Oh, you need help? You good? Come here, let me help you. Next you know, take you upstairs, rip your guts out. You out there, you ain't got no body parts. Now we going. Pay attention. Stop being naive because people would, they smile in your face. Trying to tell y'all, I'm not saying being mean because you got beautiful people in the world. I'm one of them. I'll help an individual. Like, hey, I have told people, listen, I don't think you should do that. I've done it before. Listen, why don't you take your stuff? People leave things. Excuse me. You should take that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, don't leave it there. That's me because of the background that I was, you know, being in law enforcement. Hey, why you left that there? Miss, you should pick that up. Sir, sir, excuse me. You left your... your one time I was at the swimming pool, man had his wallet, everything, credit cards. I said, well, who he trying to set up? He had credit cards, his wallet, he in the hot tub, and you had to walk around to the hot tub. Oh, you, so you, you that trustworthy, you, you that good out here where you got all your stuff. But that could have been a setup. I don't know. Why would you leave all your stuff on the table? That's what I'm saying. You got to pay attention. Stop being like, oh, and this and that. It's okay. I, I got friends. You know, they, they walk in their house, door open. Where y'all think y'all living at? Because you, you think people don't watch. Oh, they always leave their door open. They don't like this nothing. Just because you left New York City, nothing changed. You still got to be security conscious. I don't care where you at. You can be... You can have cows and and squirrels and deers as your neighbor. That don't mean that they ain't down with it either. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust nothing. I don't care where you live at that's peaceful and quiet. Oh, my God. We can leave our car doors open and we can leave our bikes on the lawn. Okay. Okay. You think you in a peaceful world like that? The only peace is probably on the moon. And they probably got crime up there. There's nothing safe. There's nowhere safe. I don't care where you at. It might be a different type of crime. Or the levels might be a little lower. But as long as there are people in the world, pay attention. Keep your eyes open. Stay focused. Because there's badness. Everywhere. Everywhere. There is badness everywhere. Pay attention. Focus. Stop being naive. Pay attention to your kids. Stop sitting. And I see it. This is why I'm saying this. I go to the parks. I sit and relax. I meditate. I see little Billy and Jane and Marsha and Michael running around. What the parents doing? Reading a book on their phone. Meanwhile, I could come. Got a napkin in my hand with ammonia or anything. Put it right over their mouth. Boom. The car waiting for me. 
I'm taking her. We out. You'll never see your child again. Pay attention. Stop thinking your surroundings because you see the sun and you see the trees and the bushes and a little squirrel eating that little peanut or bread that you threw on the floor. Everything is, your world is beautiful. No, you got to be out there like 007. Hey, where you going? Hey, hey, stay over here. Because you know how kids are. Come here. Hey, you stay on that ride, right? You stay on that swing. I'm watching you. Let your kids know you're watching them. Because if you're taking your kids out, it's about them. When you want to come outside, you want to read that paper, or you want to be on your phone, be by yourself. But as when you got your kids outside, then your eyes should be focused on them. And I see it. I see it all the time. Look at this lady. She don't even know that her son just left this swing and now he's over here. And then you say, you could see them get up like, oh, Billy. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you dummy. That's what I want to say. There you dummy. That quick, Billy could have been gone on his way to another state without you ever seeing him again. Parents, if you're listening, please. Stay on top of your game. It's hard. We got to stay on our game for ourselves because you think people don't try to snatch us up. Ladies, be careful where you park. Brothers, be careful. It ain't about the ladies no more because they snatching up brothers too. Ladies, be careful where you park at. Pay attention. You see something on the floor? Here's another little setup. You see a pocketbook on the floor? It ain't mine. Stop being greedy. They get some monies in there. That's a setup. It's a setup. Don't touch the bag. Make a report to the store. Hey, somebody left their bag outside. Don't touch it. It's a setup. They got a little stuff they putting on your car, little powders and stuff. Listen, I know. I know these things. Trust me, I know. Put a little stuff on your car. Don't touch it. They put money on your car. Don't touch it. If they, if you see, if you driving, right? Because this is, it sound crazy. They'll throw an egg on your windshield. Don't turn your windshield wiper on because you know what an egg will do. It'll smudge. It'll smudge your window. You can't see. What you going to do? You're going to pull over, right? Common sense. They're going to jack you. Pay attention. This is, I'm telling you. I'm telling you for a reason. Don't do it. Let the egg sink. I don't give a damn if it's hot outside. You get scrambled eggs. You scrape the egg off, put it in a piece of bread, and eat it later. Don't turn your windshield wiper on. It's a setup. It's going to smudge your window. Then you're going to have to pull to the side. They're going to get you. Even when you're driving down the road, let's say you're doing 95. You know, you're on I-95. You got to get to your destination and family having a barbecue in the south. Be careful when you make these rest stops. Make sure you, you, when you stop, there's a whole lot of people. It's a crowd. Don't go on these rest stops by yourself. And when you go to the bathrooms, do an inspection. I'm telling you, you have, this is how we have to live today. You know the bathrooms that it might be one bathroom in there and you close the door? Go inside first and take a peek. Turn your head around the corner. There are people that be behind the door. Pay attention. Lock the door. Okay? When you go into the stores, look around. See who's in them stores. Look at the feet. And y'all laughing, but I'm dead serious. When you go into these bathrooms, make sure there's a lot of other women. You know, you got to go to the bathroom. You got to go. But a lot of these rest stops, they do have a lot of people in there. And, you know, that that's that's even better. Instead of you going to these rest stops and you by yourself. It's so important. Yo, Mr. Says, uh... I'm going to read all gig. Gig says, boom, period. Don't touch the napkin in the car door or on the windshield. Mr. says, good thing I'm fat and kind of ugly. LOL, nobody going to fat nap me. Now nah, they got big vans, Papa. They got big vans. <laughs> it's not your big ass up. <laughs> it might take a while. they be like, we got to come back and get him tomorrow. Up this bullshit. He messing up our schedule. Damn. Come on now. Shit. Will it? Yo, James, help me with this dude, man. This, oh, hell with it. We, we can't mess with him. <laughs> yeah, mister. Nah, there ain't nobody going to snatch you, baby. You got God on your side. You good. And you ain't ugly. Cut it out. Everybody's beautiful. 
I don't care if you got one tooth. That one tooth is probably beautiful. As long as you brush it, don't worry about nothing. Don't you worry about nothing. Just brush it. You got that one tooth, shine it up, put a little peroxide with a little almond hammer baking soda. Man, that tooth will be as bright as what? <laughs> Mr. said, just offer up a burrito, and I'm probably getting on my own. Probably. <laughs> you funny. Giga says she laughing her ass off. Yeah, fool. But you got to be safe, guys. It's scary out here. It's really, really bad. I'm telling you, I'm reading so many stories, and I can't believe half of it. I believe it, but I guess when you really see it and it, 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 they show you what's going on, you be like, jeez, man. It's, it's Every day you walk out that door, it's like, what's next? What's going to happen? You know, so you got to be careful out here. Uh, what's next? And, and be careful with going in the hotel's room. Make sure you lock the doors. Um, just watch your surroundings. I know me. And listen, security conscious will never leave me. I will actually sit in the lobby and see people who's coming in the hotel. I'm dead serious, guys. I mean, it's never going to leave me. <laughs> You've been trained and you just it's it's crazy and i know you know I, my sister said to me i guess you know that's that's never gonna leave it's never gonna leave i will purposely get my tea sit up in there i want to see who's coming in i want to see who's coming in and i'll do it periodically of the day you know come down in the evening coming i will sit there and see who's coming in this hotel because it's my safety you know it's my safety, and I have to be careful and know, you know, I ain't no superhero, but you're going to have a hell of a fight. Uh, What's going on in this world today? Um, Here's the scam I want to talk to y'all about. When little bastards be calling your house on 24 times a day, and I'm tired of them. I'm tired. I done gave them every nationality I could think of. I done said it all. But be careful, because this is what they're doing. Check it out. It's called the Say Yes Scam, and the Better Business Bureau says it's once again getting complaints from people about these strange calls. They're doing it again, calling you and claiming there's a problem with the phone connection. Oh, I am so sorry about that. I was um, having a little problem with my headset. Caller then asks if you can hear them okay. Earl comes on, very nice voice, and says, can you hear me? Now the Better Business Bureau says these calls that first appeared in 2017 are exploding again. It says if a caller asks, can you hear me, you should just hang up. The Better Business Bureau now believes that many of these calls originate from vacation and warranty companies. By saying yes, you may be agreeing to make some sort of purchase. At the very least, you've agreed to receive more calls from these marketers as they now consider you an active customer. So if you say yes to these calls, you're probably inviting a lot more of them in the future. It's called the Say Yes Scam. Eh? Yeah, so don't say nothing. When they start talking, hang up. Hang the phone up. I don't know. Do something, but don't say anything. What y'all saying on here? Uh, Gig says, be careful who you hang out with, because they could set you up as well, shaking my head. Facts, Giggs. You definitely got to watch who your peoples are. Everybody ain't your peoples. Everybody ain't real. People are fake. Fake. Disrespectful. That's right. Believe it or not, pay attention to who you hang out with and who you call your friend, because everybody ain't a friend. And that is facts. Gig says, I don't answer the phone. Because <laughs> Gig probably know that nigga, she got to make a payment. That's why she don't answer. Mr. says, you should carry pepper spray at very least. Yes, everybody should carry pepper spray. I don't care who you are. Make up your own pepper spray. I don't care. Carry something. For real. Go to the uniform stores. They have them. Or make your own. Because it's, 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 it's like that. And that's the way it is. And Giggle says that, Mr. I stay with something on me. Yeah, Gig be packing. Gig don't play. Don't sleep on that word, that name, Gig. Gig stand for poster. <laughs> 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 
Yes, watch out for these scarers. Getting tired of them calling me all the time. I'm sick of them. And it's very annoying. And you just get tired. You get tired. I'll go crazy quick on someone. Don't go too crazy now. I got enough money to bail you out. But take it easy because uh, just slow it down. Just slow it down. Yeah, so we have got to be careful, guys. Got to be careful out here. It's real out here. Um, I got a lot to talk about, but I'm going to leave it alone because it's on some relationship stuff. Um, But I I do want to read this. Well, I did talk about it earlier. Shout out to the people that lost their lives in Florida at the Dollar General. See how scary it is? People went in the store just to get some items. Now they they can't even walk out. They can't because they're gone. It's terrible because of the color of their skin. Terrible, terrible world we live in. But y'all got to be safe out here, for real. Um, I want to read something real quick, but it's, it might go too fast. I'm going to read it real quick. Let me see if I can do it. Sometimes you have to accept the fact that certain things will never go back. On it. Never go back to the way they used to be. Believe that. Some people you just got to cut off and leave them alone. Believe that. And some doors that God opens is for specific people in your life to walk out of. Believe that. If you don't tell people how we feel, how will they know? But even when you do tell them, they they don't care. So the, if you let people know how you feel and things bother you and they do nothing about it and they know it's wrong, let them go. They don't belong in your life. Because people got to respect people. You should never disrespect a person that you say you love. And you care for. So if you're thinking that way, then maybe you shouldn't be with that person. And for those that are going through that, let them go. It may be hard, easier said than done. But at the end of the day, if it's going to better you and make you a better person and make you feel good, unless you're in a marriage, you got to get some counseling. But even in that, If people are disrespecting you, I don't care. Let them go. Let me read this one more time. Sometimes you have to accept the fact that certain things will never go back to the way they used to be. Some people you just got to cut off and leave them alone. And some doors that God opens is for specific people in your life to walk out of. If we don't tell people how we feel, how will they know? And even if we do tell them and they still disrespect us, let them go. Yeah, yeah. Gig, I know you got to go. I got to go too, you know. Hey, y'all. Uh, Gig says, hey, y'all. I got to go to work. Have a great day and y'all be safe. Preezy, I'll holler at you later. Love you. I love you too. And Gig you know what it is. You know how I feel. You popping up everything on the screen. I love it. www.listenuplistenin5687.com. Facebook, Listen Up, Listen In. Instagram, Listen Up, Listen In, 5687. I'm on Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, TikTok, and all that good stuff. Yeah, guys, I, I think this show was an educational show. I love it. And um, I just want to let everybody know out there, we got to be careful. Please, please be careful because it's not good. It's not good out here. Um, please, we got to stay focused. Pay attention. There are people out here that want to harm you, that want to harm your kids. It is wrong. And we have to stay focused. Not trying to tell everybody to try to be a 007, but maybe we do have to be a 007. Because um, it's really that bad out here. Ladies, pay attention to where you're going. Pay attention to who you're hanging around. Everybody's not cool. Trust me. You even got to pay attention to your circle. And that's sad. I'm going to play this clip about the hotel situation with the locks on the doors. This is an educational Tuesday. Let's talk.
We gotta talk. Good thoughts, great vibes make a better day. Check it out. Clean sheets, but how would you know for sure? Oh, wrong video. Yeah, sometimes that happens. That was the video about having clean sheets and making sure your sheets was clean. I'm sorry, but that's a good thing. Um, how clean are your sheets when you go to the hotel? Do you check that? I'm telling you, we gotta check everything when we go to the hotel. It's not a joke. I was really trying to find a video um, about the locks on the door. Uh, maybe if I don't find it, I'll play you tomorrow. But I just thought that was important. Uh, Got to keep the doors locked. Got to lock the doors. And um, it's so important. Um, But before I go, y'all know I started off with a Patti LaBelle song. And I want to end it with Patti LaBelle because that song makes me feel good inside and I love it and I want to play it again for those that missed it. It's a great song. If you're having a bad day, if your day already started off bad, come on, pray on it. Let's make it better. Um, You know, we have our ups and downs, but don't let your downs take over your ups, if that makes sense. You know we got to live, laugh, love. We got to love each other, but you got to love yourself first, okay? Because you can't love anyone or anything unless you love yourself first. Believe that. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurt people hurt people. Whatever. You know, it's stupid. It's, it, it happens. We know it does. But guess what? Love you first. You got to put yourself first. Especially when you're seeing people disrespecting you. Put yourself first. Your blessings are going to come. When you let things go that have no value to do to you, that no one, they don't respect you, they don't give you the respect that you should get, let them go. The blessings will flow. So remember, love you first. Because you can't love anyone or anything unless you love yourself first. Keep God in your life. He is number one. Because you're not going to get them blessings. He is number one. Stay healthy. Stay focused. Okay? Hug and squeeze your family members and your pets. Because they family too. Hug and squeeze them. Squeeze them. Tighter. Every day. It's a little bit tighter every day. Don't kill them now. But squeeze them tight. Because life is short. Every time you walk out that door, you don't know if you're coming back. So love them. Love them. And uh, just keep going, baby. I love you, Mommy and Daddy, forever. Let me play my song by Patti LaBelle because it makes me feel good. Uh, I feel a little good today. I have my ups and downs like everybody else. And remember this, y'all. Don't be going out there driving and texting and all that stuff. I know we do stupid things sometimes. We distract ourselves, look in the mirror, turn the radio station, all that. Don't do that. Set all that stuff up now. That way all you got to do is push a button. You already know what you look like. You don't got to keep driving and looking at yourself. And don't text, okay? Let it wait, you know. You got to stop light. You got to shoot something real quick or you got That's a different story. But once you start that driving, pay attention and don't even look down while you're driving because you don't know what's going on. Keep your eyes, your eyes. You got mirrors for a reason. You got the mirror on the left, mirror on the right, mirror inside the car. Those mirrors are put there for a reason. Keep looking around because you'd be surprised. Things could be happening. And if you got the opportunity to get out that way, or move to the side or whatever, pay attention. Don't keep your head down. Leave the phone alone. Whatever is going to be, is going to be. You can't change it anyway. When you get to your destination, make all the calls you want. But for now, let's just get to work safe and sound. That's the most important thing, all right? But uh, I want to thank all of y'all for coming on. And I'm going to come on tomorrow morning. I'm back, baby. I'm back. And we're going to chit-chat and all of that. But before I do, before I leave y'all, let me put some good spirits in y'all. Let me put some uplifting music. And it's going to come from my favorite, one of my favorite artists, Patti LaBelle. So y'all listen. Have a beautiful day. God bless all of y'all. Be safe. Take heed to what I'm saying. I'm going to put this show back on today for those that missed it. 
And if you want to hear it again, come on now. I'm on all the podcast platforms. All right? I love you guys. Let's listen to a little bit of Patty and get in the mood. Get in a good mood. Sing it, Patty. Sing it. Yeah. And this is Grover Washington Jr. with her, too, with that music. Yeah. This is for you, baby. You know who you are. Just believe. Peace out, mister. I love you, baby. Have a beautiful day. I love you, mommy and daddy, forever. One day. One day. As long as we believe, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, y'all. Keep your heads to the sky. Yeah. I'll fill it with laughter. Just tune in to Listen Up, Listen In Podcast, baby. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm, mm-mm. All right, y'all. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah. Y'all better stop playing with Patty. Mm. Same time, same app. Podbean, baby. God bless all y'all. Be safe. Watch your kids. Peace.